From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Who is this Tom guy? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Don't you have a zero tolerance policy in your relationship for certain items? Aren't there certain things that if somebody does them, they're just unforgivable and you're out? I mean, going to therapy and and chewing these things over and over and over, does that really solve anything in the long run? Take it from me. Been there. It doesn't. 1-800-5800. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. 1-800-5800-866. Val, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How are you doing today, Tom? Just great. That is great. Well, um, yeah, I've actually, I'm a new listener to your show. I had never heard of it. Um, I'm in the military, and we do a lot of traveling, so on the way back to the base, we listen to you all the time, and... Yeah, I heard what you guys were talking about just now, and I thought I would bestow my wisdom, on, you know. Thing oh, there. really? You guys... <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. I, I want to make sure everybody is ready here, okay? Because now, huh? and uh, only on the Tom Likas show, Val is going to bestow her wisdom. I am. Prepare on yourself. our listeners. Are you ready? Huh? I hope so. All right. Okay. Take it away, Val. I sure will. Let me start off by saying, women, though you guys think we are complicated, we are quite simple. We are just like biscuits. The better you butter us up, the better it will be for everybody. Therefore, when you're in a marriage... Actually, you're like biscuits because you sop up money like gravy. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I mean, that can be true in most cases, but I make enough money for myself. Mm. So in my case, this is not true, but... In needy women's cases, that can't be true. But we're talking about generally, women are the same. If you compliment us, if you're in a marriage and you see we're mad, all you have to do is butter us up. Why do we need to butter you up? Why not? Because guess what? If I live alone, I don't have to butter you up. Yeah, but if you're married... You show up when it's time to have sex with me and then you get the hell out of my house. No, because what happens then? Divorce... You have children, that's child support. You're just causing yourself more headaches. Oh, no. B- you by the way, you're paying child time. support. You are paying child support whether you live together or not. That's very true. But I'm just saying, if you want to avoid the whole headache of divorce and all this junk from the get Yeah, here's how you avoid divorce. Avoid marriage. Uh-huh. That's very true. But people are married right now. Is I, I understand. And I would yes. say that people... And they're not happy, It's called they? cut your losses, folks. Cut your losses. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I agree with you. If you are young, because like the majority of people nowadays, they get married at a young age. I think that's the stupidest thing ever. By the way, that's old. that's also not true. It's true in the military, but in the general populace, it's not true. In fact, uh, young men and women are getting uh, married at the oldest age in our history. Really? Yes. Men around 28 years old, women around an average of around 26 I'm having a problem believing that. Uh, dear, I've been uh, reading the statistics on the air every time a study comes out. Okay, now where do you get these statistics Again, from? had you been listening, you would be hearing me read the source of the statistics. Now okay. it's your job to go to Google and look them up. You haven't read any statistics. No, I have not. Believe okay. me, okay. I've read them on <laughs> the air before. That's the point. We're getting a little off topic here. No, you you, you to took have... us off topic. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm bringing us back on topic now. Okay, I was talking about... I'm, I'm going to put you in a certain situation. If you're married out there and you're going through a hard time with your wife, obviously you married her for a reason, so there is going to be a reason for you. Yeah, uh, the reason generally is stupidity. 
stupidity. Yes. <laughs> what are you basing that on? Uh, the, the, the millions of people I've spoken to over the years who, when you ask them why they get married, can't answer the question. Um, well, that's because of immaturity. And that's, and a, that's a good example of why people shouldn't be getting married. Immaturity is one good reason. Yes. Uh, the fact that marriage is an outmoded, antiquated institution that brings no benefit to but men is another reason to admit, not to get married. You have to admit, amongst all the stupidity, there has to be some sort of inkling of feelings or emotion or love attached between the two individuals. Oh, they're, they're, they're frequently related to stupidity and immature decisions, absolutely. Okay, well, emotions, you, yeah, you can't... And even, but the point is, people have to learn how to separate emotions from signing a legal document. This is very true. And, but, uh, and mean, marriage is nothing more than a legal incorporation in the state in which you live. And that is your personal opinion. No, no, that's, that's a case. fact. Okay, it's a fact to you. A no, no, that's a fact. speaking, going back into the ages, marriage is the joining of two souls when they're in oh, love. Oh, you know, stop All it. that lovey-dovey stuff. That, right, I mean, all that lovey-dovey stuff that 50%, 50% of the people who take wedding vows violate them by getting divorced. Well, that's because this day and age... Yeah, we live in this day and age. We don't live in 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 in, in uh, the the Middle Ages. We live today. Yes, we do live today. And, and so saying, my 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 advice to people is based on living in the twenty first century. Yes, and my advice to people is living on the twenty first century too. And I'm talking about marriage has turned right into now. a big profit center for attorneys, and secondarily for the women oh, who get wow. married to guys and then take their wealth when they go. Conspiracy theory. No, it's not. No conspiracy theory about it. It's a fact. That is not a fact. I yes. Mean, it oh, can it's not be true in a lot of cases, but there are a lot of cases out there that that is not true, and it doesn't matter if. As I always say, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Uh, this the guy fell out the sixteen-story window and lived. It doesn't mean everybody should go up to the sixteenth floor and of jump. Course. But one person did, so that means, hey. That doesn't mean everyone happen. else should go take a jump. But it doesn't mean that no. If it does, I'll ever. tell you what, I'll be, you can go first. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, <laughs> I see. No, thank so, you. So, but because, because, because somebody because married. somebody had a good marriage, we should all go do it? Wait, say that again? Because somebody was lucky enough to have a good marriage, we should all go do it? No. I'm not saying that. You should be logical about your decisions and your choices. Why should life. anybody do it? Why should any man get married? Why not? Okay. Be because if there's no are, benefit. Listen to me. Listen to there me is no thing. benefit to a man to get married. Listen to me for just a uh, second. No, no, no. Uh, respond to what I'm but, saying first. There is no benefit to a man to get married. Um, that's completely wrong. What and benefits? Really what are the benefits? No, 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 no. What specifically are the benefits okay. to a man to get married? You are guaranteed bashing. Can I say that on the line on air for the rest of your life? And you don't have to worry about STDs because she's doing it. No, you're not guaranteed and, that. And you you are not. The right woman. You are not you guaranteed. Are but guaranteed again, you're not guaranteed that if somebody goes out and makes one mistake and comes back with an STD, you've got it. <laughs> There is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. Getting married does not guarantee anything. No, actually, you're right. All it, it guarantees guarantee. to a man is that he's going to be giving away some of his wealth when it's over. But what about a partner for the rest of your life where you can travel the world with, you know, if you There's no guarantee of that. If 50% of marriages end in divorce, that's not even close to a guarantee. I mean, well, I didn't say guarantee, but I mean... When, I mean, when you're in a relationship for years along the line and you guys are in love with each other, I mean, 10, you, 20 years down the road, when you're like 40 and 50, of course, you're not going to feel the same I can way. travel with people. I am unmarried. I am unmarried, and I can travel with people right now. Of course. But what I'm saying is to have one individual that... Why do I want one individual? Everything with. Why do I want one individual? Why not? Because I think variety if is far more interesting. With your friends, that's fine. Go freaking to Hooters and look Why do I need to go to the... Whatever. No, I'm not talking about that. What if I wanted to go with a different chick every time I wanted to travel? Well, that's because you're greedy and you're selfish. And oh, you're what, is, what does that mean? I'm greedy and I'm selfish. Each one of those chicks is lucky to go on that trip with me. Well, okay, if you want to put it that way, but I don't agree. I mean, if you want to take a different woman... No like one puts a gun to their head to go. I know that's very true, but why not 
I mean, and see, maybe you don't understand this because we're not on the same mindset. You think about things differently, one, because you're a male. and That's right. I'm a man. Because, this you, show is aimed at men. Is men are our audience, and I am giving advice primarily for the benefit okay. of men. Well, I'm trying to let you in the woman's world so you can probably... I know what the woman's world is, trying to get us to no, sign a contract not. and then I'm obligate us to pay, obligate us to pay, obligate us to pay for every little thing that you want us to buy, and then obligate us to pay you even after you're gone or we're gone. And that's what women are all about. They want, quote unquote, security. And by security, they mean they want to get a man to pay for everything now and forever. Andy, but how do you explain me then? You're I still talking. I put you on hold and you're still talking. Guy that I'm seeing, I pay for dinner. Oh, I, oh I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh, stop. Reason number 39,414 why I am not married. That's what it sounds like. That's, boys, you can't hear it when you're in the throes of lust. That's what being married sounds like. Been married and divorced four times. Take it from me. That is every day of the rest of your life when you get married. Every day. Every goddamn day! Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Pipe down. I'm talking to Tom now. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. And we continue with your telephone calls at 1-800-5800-TOM. One, there are just some things that are not worth going to therapy over. Just say, hey, I'm not going to humiliate myself by discussing why you're on MySpace talking to some guy. And you're going to do that. I'm out. That's it. Out. I'm out. That's it. And I'll tell you what, it uh, keeps that self esteem high. And you wonder why my self esteem is so high? I'm so glad I just, I've kicked them out. I have kicked them out. You know how good that feels when I kick them out? Whew. Love it. Susan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Well, um, I'm listening to you, and, uh, you know, I was really kind of um, agreeing with a lot of the therapy, with, especially that one guy with the, the children uh, um, that he decided not to go but let her go more power to her. Um, I think that's great because usually the guys always think that way. It's the women that... We feel that there's always a need to better our relationships, but to the bottom line is, I, I would say that the therapists, all they do is take your money. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't have a degree in anything, and I, I'm my own therapist, and I do the same for my husband. Um, so you're his I, therapist. I, I, Isn't that a conflict of interest? Excuse me? Isn't that, isn't that a conflict of interest for you to be your husband's therapist? Well, you know what? I save us, uh, us a lot of money. But you know what? After 25 years of the, I've been with, I'm 45, and I've been with him since I was 16. And you know what? I'm a, I'm a fool to even be with him for what he's put me through. But you know what? I, I always feel like there's hope on his part. And I, I try to say, you know, um, I, I don't want any of his money. You're talking about us taking their money? Wrong, wrong. I work my butt off, and well, if you're stupid I, for being I mean, with him, if you're stupid for no, being no, him, no, if you're I'm, stupid for being with him, why are you with him? Well, I don't know. I keep on thinking there, there's hope that I could change him, but you know what? Well, you are stupid. Yeah, I am stupid. And the bottom line is, we spent already like twenty five thousand dollars going through. A divorce, I had three attorneys because I should have left them right when I met him when I was 16, but I was so dumb and naive. Um, but I, uh, he decided, hey, 
it's cheaper to keep her. That's how I look at it now. And we've tried. We've tried therapy and everything like that, going to therapists, and it doesn't work. We go to church every Saturday night. Oh, that's and, not going to help. Well, it does because you know what? It's it, it's finally getting through to him that um, it's seeking in. He enjoys going there. He kind of pretends that he doesn't and that he's Why are we it. having this conversation? It sounds to me like well, you just want to get on the air like human diarrhea and spread yourself no, all over the program here. Why, why, no, why are we no. having this conversation? Well, because, you know, I, um, I don't know, you're, you're saying you're all for the guys and everything. Well, there's not, um, you know, women and men, they get married for... God knows what reason. There's you got married four times, Tom. It sounds like I've given the reason repeatedly on the air, and uh, since you've been such a long time listener, Susan, uh, you should know what it is by now. No, to tell you the truth, Tom, I'm just driving. I've been to Santa Barbara, and I'm on my way home today. So you've never uh, heard I've this been, show before. Yeah, I, I have. You've I never have. called in before. And I've tried, but I can never get your number because you talk so fast on the phone. You got to slow down a little. Oh, I'm bit. talking too fast. Yeah, you did. You were really. But, yeah, really. Maybe you're too old yeah, to listen no, to this no, show. Me, no, 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 no. Let one more thing. About you know, it's amazing how many no, no, no. tens of thousands of people have called in. It's amazing how... Well, you'll get to say it when I'm done finishing this sentence, dear, because I'm not married to you. I don't have to listen to you. Uh, it's amazing how tens of thousands of people uh, have heard me give out the phone number on this show repeatedly to the point where it's been burned into their brains, and they dial in and they get through, and you are the one and only person for whom the number is being said too fast. There's a whole board full of calls here. Everybody heard me say the phone number except you. Isn't that amazing? But, God, you know what? The most amazing thing, Tom, I got through today, right now. That's the best part, isn't it? Because not not for us. I want to tell no. you something, though. I want to tell you Not for us. Before you, I want to say something. You said That's all that. you want to do is say no, something. No, it goes no, on no, and no, on no, and I on. No. By the way, no, dear, by the way, dear, by the way, dear, I want to recommend something to you. I want to recommend something to you. I want I to recommend. Are you ready? You know I want to. How much do you pay those? By the way, is that your GPS in the background? I bet they. Uh, Hello? A lot, right? I, I want. I need to so recommend something to you. Them. You can kick them out. I need to recommend. No, but I, I've got. But you know what? You, you know, you're missing something very important girl. here. I am trying to recommend something to you. Is this what it's like being married to you? No wonder your husband can't take it anymore. He's going to church praying that you'll be struck by lightning, I think. Hello? Can you hear me? I would not go on a trip with you. Uh, well, thank God. That's the last thing. Uh, uh, darling, I'd, I'd pay you a million dollars not to go on a trip with me. That's that's how, that's how badly I would not want you on a trip with me. Well, you know what? You know, if if that's how you feel, you've had such a lousy relationship. No, no, dear. You know, you would be a lousy relationship. And may well, I say, I want to recommend a twelve-step program to you because uh, it oh, works. Do you? Yes, I do. And here it is. It's for, it's for people like you. It's called on and on and on and on. Yeah. Yes. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> It's a 12-step program. First step, shut up. You can imagine what the other 11 are. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tim on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. Tom, I haven't been a long-time listener. I, I've just started listening maybe within the past month or so. Mm -hmm. But, man, i got to tell you, I really appreciate what you're doing. As well you, you should. Uh, a lot of people have told me, Tim, you're a good man. You're, you're, you're too nice to women. And I guess they just really don't know me, you know. I, I've been pretty selfish, and I've always been out for myself. First time I got married, I was so stupid. Oh, man. I was even more stupid for having sex without a condom and getting my first girlfriend pregnant in high school. Good work. I, I ended up marrying her out of uh, uh, guilt. Guilt for my kids. 
I ended up having two more kids with her. The only reason you, why did I you do that out of her? guilt? Did you do that out of guilt too? What's that? Have two more kids with her? No, I did that out of stupidity and just right. being damn horny. Believe me, all three you did out of stupidity. And by the way, I'm as horny as anybody. But isn't it amazing? I'm 20 years older than you, and I don't have any children now. What's the difference between me and you? Uh, you probably realize. About 50 IQ points. Yeah. That's right. Tom, I got to tell you, I love women. I love having them around me. But uh, I've only started wising up within the past few years. And you love giving them your money, which is fantastic. Uh, no, I don't like doing that. This last, I, I got divorced from the first one. She was cheating on me. Just like you said a little while ago, mm -hmm. the guy on the Internet. Why? Told her, see you later. You know what? It was cheaper just to pay the child support rather than stay with her. With that first wife, I worked two full-time jobs like an idiot. Like an idiot. I just let her have all the money and take care of everything. I was paying for her school. I was paying for our place. Our Your mouth, sorry, this is sorry. a radio show. Sorry about that. Sorry. She was messing around behind, I'm behind my back, okay? And then on top of that, getting on the Internet. She's trying to find herself a sugar daddy, a man that could always be around that had all the money. Just like you said, the younger girls, they go for the older guys with the money. That is so true, man. That is so true. I'll tell you what, I wised up and I got rid of her. I started dating women, and one of my buddies, he he has listened to you for a long time. Um, he's the one who told me, hey, man, he says, you need to just stop, you know, trying to wine and dine these girls. Let them take care of you. And so I did. And you know what? I let the women take me out. I let them pay for everything. And if they got a problem with that, you know what? Too bad. I found me a really good woman. This woman, she had a great job. How much did this one cost you? This woman, actually, she didn't cost me anything. In fact, I got myself a truck out of the deal. I got myself lots of stuff out of the deal. We're getting a divorce. I would have stayed with her. I was good to her. She had kids. I, I, I didn't know about that. You know, you shouldn't be as women with kids. She's a little bit older than me, but I'll tell you, man, she took care of me. She took care of me. I'm thankful for her for that. But when she told me to pick between her and my son, my biological son, I'm going to pick my kid. Tim, doesn't sound like you got a good track record over there. What's that? I said it doesn't sound like you've got a good track record over there. With her? Probably not. No, with anybody. No. You don't, do you? How so do you mean? These relationships don't sound like they've worked out all that well, except you got a truck out of one of the deals. Yeah, but you know what? How much do you spend on child support? Oh, now I don't pay nothing. I was able to get custody of my kids. He don't I pay nothing, guys. I don't pay what was any that? More child support. I used to pay uh, 700 And now you're paying nothing? Now I pay nothing for child support. Is that because you don't have a job? Place. I'm sorry? Is that because you don't have a job? No, I got a great job. I do fiber optics. How do you get away with not paying child support? I have custody of my kids. Oh, so you do support your kids. You're just not giving the money to a woman. Absolutely. And what was wrong with these women that you got custody of all these kids? Um, Nothing. My kids, the, she just finally realized that my kids wanted to be with me. She let them come be with me. She's remarried. She has uh, uh, three, three, three stepsons and uh, and the husband. And honestly, I think he just didn't like my kids. It was just too much for him. Uh -huh. she, he told her I talked to her into letting them go. Mm. But I'm thankful for it. You know, I got my kids. They're three beautiful children. I'm raising my boys to understand, hey, you don't let no woman run your life. You don't let no woman tell you what to do. And uh, above all, don't spend all your time and all your money on women. And don't give them your sperm. Don't. You always use a condom. My 13-year-old boy, I tell him that. I said, you know what? I don't know if you're having sex or not. I don't care if you have sex. I'd rather you wait. But you know what? If you don't, you better come tell me, and I'm going to go get you the condoms. In fact, here, right here in the medicine cabinet, it's a whole box. The same box Dad uses. And your point in all this, Tim? Five and a half minutes of room here. Don't get married. Don't spend your money on them. Build your own wealth. Buy yourself a house. That's what my main goal is right now. I'm trying to buy myself a house. I need to stop wasting my money on my rent. I've got about three grand saved up. You need to stop wasting it on house. women. What's that? You need to stop wasting it on women, for Christ's sake.
Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. You're so rageful. I have never heard this word, by the way, rageful. But, uh, all right, I'll assume your IQ is in the triple digits for the sake of argument. You've never spoken to a psychotherapist. Uh, you're a psychotherapist, or are you just a psycho? The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5800. Tom, it's Marie. Hello. Hey, how are you doing, Tom? Doing great, Marie. Good. Well, I had to call, and I don't call in radio shows. I do listen, but I'm sitting in LA traffic, which is already pissing me off. But then these women that have been calling in, I just I couldn't sit by and let that be a representation of the majority of women, because I think they're kind of proving your whole case there. And by the way, that might be the majority of women. You might be the uh, exception to the rule, for example. Well, I don't know. I mean, I understand the whole, you know, the women are usually the naggers. You know, I don't know. Maybe if I just surround myself with girls that don't tend to do that. Well, your friends tend to be like you. Like, my friends tend to be like me. That's true. That's very true. You pick and choose people that are similar to yourself. I mean, could you stand to be around any of those women who've called in? Oh, my goodness. It's just, it's, it, it sends chills up your spine. But trust me when I tell you, it sounds awfully familiar from my past. Well, let me ask you something, though. This is, I had a question for you because you seem like you had a revelation. You say you've been married four times, right? So why did you get married the second and the third and the fourth Well, I've, again, it's something I've repeated. I'm going to put on the website because I'm tired of answering this question. I've answered it so many times. <laughs> uh, put simply, my parents were married for 40 years till my dad died. That's awesome. And so when things didn't work out in a marriage for me, I felt there's something defective about me. Aww. And so I kept going back to the well, trying to do it right the next time. Right. One day I suddenly realized it wasn't there was something wrong with me. And marriage is an outmoded concept that has little benefit, especially to men who are wealthy and successful. Right. No, I hear you. This is my analogy on the whole situation. I don't. I hope this does not sound totally anti-feminist, but I've been married for years, and I, I got married fairly young. But I was raised in an Irish Catholic household, and my mom would take a bullet from my father, you know, and he was a great man, too. But they, they're still married, so they've been married 31 years now. And being raised around that, you, you kind of, you do what you have to do to be a good wife and a good mother. And I think nowadays there's a lot of uh, spoiled girls that, I don't know if it's so much their parents got divorced or jumped ship so quickly, but they don't know how to take care of their man, per se. And I mean, there's a lot of things that I think my husband should do for me in return, but I also look at some marriages, you know, there are some of my friends that I see that I would like to step aside and say, maybe you should try this because you're not really doing all you can to be a good wife, you know? So I think that it it goes both ways, but a lot of times in today's day and age, women tend to expect a lot. And And, and they tend to give very little. Exactly. I agree. I totally agree. In comparison to what I was raised around, you know, my mom was awesome to my father, you know, so I don't know. I tried to emulate that in my own marriage, and it it seems to be working out pretty well. I mean, we're still best friends. You know, the reason we're married is because we go out and we do things together, you know. So I don't know. I think women should try to just enjoy themselves and stop worrying and stressing and nitpicking so much and then they'll have a better marriage well they nitpick a lot less when they don't have the key to my front door i'll tell you what (laughs) everything i say is right everything i do is right every joke i tell is funny that's because we like the challenge too (laughs) they love the way i cook they love the way i keep my house (laughs) they never know when i bring the garbage out so they can never tell me it's time to do it that's right I mean, I must tell you, uh, not being married to women, they really appreciate what we bring to the table. Isn't that a shame? And it starts out that way, but a lot of times, I don't know, something changes, I think, when you get married. So you could be right, you know? I think you, I think the majority of people... I have there, never been more appreciated by women than I am today. Yeah. You you're, know what? You're probably right. So as women get married, they probably should remember back to the way they acted when they were 
Do you remember that skit? I think it was, oh, gosh, one of the comedians were talking about the representative, how when you meet a girl, they're completely different. It was like Chappelle or someone great like that that said you never really know until, like, you're in the relationship. So women should just be who they were when they first met the guy, you know? Because guys don't change. I mean, they really are who they are from the, from the get-go. You know, the women are the ones, I think, that tend to be all wonderful in the beginning and then tend And to calculating be- about getting us into the Roach Motel, <laughs> where roaches check in, but they don't check out. Right. Well... That's a shame. That's horrible. That's no fun. Why would they? I don't know. I don't get it. Not saying I'm a perfect wife because I'm sure that, you know, I've asked him to go out and mow the lawn a few times. He'd rather be sitting inside drinking some beers. But I definitely don't nag because I wouldn't want to be nagged at. Who wants to be nagged at, you know? Well, but the, the point is it's not a matter of who wants to be nagged at. I'm sure the women who are doing the nagging don't want to be nagged. They like right. doing the nagging. Like the last caller, my goodness. <laughs> I was either going to turn you off or I had the call. So it, was, it came down to those two things. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so we're all, la- uh, all the, the four women that you're married to, that they all become naggers? Uh, no. Uh, the first one, we uh, didn't fight at all until the end. We had a fight at the end. No. When she changed her mind on a promise she made to me before we got married that we wouldn't have kids, that she wanted to have kids and wanted me to change my mind, too. You don't want, you never want to have kids? No, dear. No? No. Oh, I think you'd be a good father. Doesn't matter what I would, I'd I'd probably be a good lots of things. People say I'd be a good lawyer, too, but I don't want to take the pay cut. (laughs) Well, I mean, when you get, that's a big one, you know? When someone wants kids and someone doesn't, that's pretty black and white. Uh, well, no. yeah. I mean, just because you might be good at something doesn't mean you need to do it. Yeah. I, I, You know what? I can relate to that, too, because before I got married, I was total career woman and completely happy with doing my own thing, you know. And when I met my husband is when I wanted kids. So it could change. You never know. Maybe she just wasn't the woman you could see having children with. You never know. Well, never I, say never. Again, uh, the point is I didn't want to, and I was 21 at the time. Oh, that's young. Yeah. You're more concerned with having a good time. You're everyone. No, no, actually, I was more concerned with becoming successful in my career. Well, that's smart. And had I not said no, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Right. Yeah. See, life is choices. So you I'm glad I made this one. Choice. Right. Yeah. Are you but, guys still friends? We talk once every year and a half or so. That's good. We don't. Li- you know, we live three thousand miles apart, so <laughs> not really an issue. Yeah. But um, oh, I've been with the Naggers, yeah. and they're not all people I've been married to. I mean, the last person I lived with was a chronic Nagger, <laughs> and it's the reason I haven't been too anxious to have someone else move in. Well, I don't blame you. My God, is there anything more annoying than that? I don't think so. Well, it's not just annoying. I mean, it is soul crunching. Yeah, All right? exactly. Uh, annoying is when there's someone using a jackhammer four blocks away. <laughs> this is way worse than that. Yeah, I agree. Trust me, it's not just the women out there that nag. There's men that nag. The irony of this is that among the things she nagged me to do was to take out the garbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyone who's been to my house knows that I am a neatness freak. My garbage and everything else is taken care of properly. So she was just finding things to nag about. Well, I, I think the basic of women getting men into these agreements to sign contracts and be chained to them for life is the idea that they want to reduce our self-worth and uh, just crush our souls by finding everything that's wrong with us or everything that's perceived to be wrong about us and reminding us about it over and over and over. You don't think it's an insecurity thing that they're trying to take the focus off maybe something they're insecure about? I think that's I, I, it, Well, it. that could be the reason for it, yeah. but the result of it is the same. That's true. 
that they, they will spend all of their time trying to find what's wrong with us and continually remind us about it. It's true. Very true. There are women right now who are out there tonight who have lived in my house who couldn't shut up. Yeah. And they are now living in apartments mm -hmm. all over Los Angeles. Well, see? Maybe they learned their lesson. Well, now they've had some quiet time to think about it. And there nobody, you, to, you know. I mean, ladies, here, but the best advice I have for you in your relationship is two words. Shut up. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to agree with you. It's easier. You know, I mean, I'm not going to say my husband and I don't fight because we, we have our little, you know, spats. But I usually am the one to walk away and go find something else to do because you're both pissed off and no one's really going to win. So you might as well just go, you know, have a martini and come back and everything will be fine. <laughs> Well, I, I, at least you've gone that far and you've uh, matured that much. But uh, believe me, uh, there's not a lot of that out there. A lot of immaturity and a lot of, oh, my God, it's too much to take. I can't even think about it. And these callers just give me flashbacks. I think I've got post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> I do. Kendall on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. Um, I'm sitting here. My boyfriend's been trying to get me to call for a couple of weeks. He says that you have a list of questions for go that are hot. He says I have a list of questions. Uh -huh. put, him, put him on the phone. Put him on the phone? Okay, yeah. hang on. Ben. Hello? Why did you tell her to call in? Well, you, come on. She's, like, got to be one of the hottest chicks ever. When, when, why are you lying to her and telling her? I well, you know, my father, he's always been, you know, a great listener. And he's, he's, in, he's sent me along a near mission. What is the find. list of questions? Well, you know, you normally sit here and you like to rag on these girls and, you know, make them, you actually know how girls are, you know, bring them. You mean that they're stupid? Well, not that they're stupid. I mean. Not well read? <laughs> Tom, now you're going to get me in trouble. She's sitting here like, look here, man. I... <laughs> I'll be happy to show how stupid your girl is if that's what you'd like. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I can't really do it myself. I mean, you know, I don't really want to go out there and have to find another, another, you know, another job tonight. So, you know, if you could bring her down to how she actually is, that'd be great. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Hello. All right. So uh, what, he, he, what he's heard me do is he's heard women call in and say that they're not as stupid as, as I seem to think they are, and then I break them down. <laughs> Tom's giving you crap, isn't he? His dad's laughing at me. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what he wants me to do is prove how stupid you are. That's what he had in mind. Oh, Tom, you're going to get him in trouble. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> I am not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, that is so. All right, let's go over. So you're well informed, then, I guess that means, right? Sure. Excellent. So uh, let's talk about the presidential race uh, for uh, 2008. Okay. Uh, who are the candidates? <laughs> uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are the only ones I've been following. That's it? Mm-hmm. I work too much to stay home and watch the same thing. Uh do you have time to watch uh, Entertainment Tonight or no. TMZ? No. So you don't watch any television at all? Not really. Any reality shows? No. Come on, don't you, you like books. don't you like that Dancing with the Stars? Mm -mm. Come on, don't you like uh, American Idol? Um, I enjoyed like the first season, but I haven't really enjoyed any of the others. How do you know? Because you watched and you didn't like it. Um, no, I heard stuff on the radio about them, and I think that it's all fake anyway. So, so you have time to listen to, to the radio, it. and you've had time to watch American Idol, but you don't have time to find out who all the candidates are. Okay. You're an adult, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, do you know what party Clinton and Obama belong to? Democratic. Right. And uh, you can name one Republican? Um, not at the moment. Not at the moment. The Tom Likas Show.